This is the Blackview BV8000 Pro. It's one of Blackview's newest 4G flagship models and I wanted to give you my honest opinion after using it for little over a week. I wouldn't say the box looks that premium at first glance, but the Chinese manufacturer Blackview have taken great care in ensuring the phone catches your attention once the lid is actually off. Now, under the phone itself, you're getting a little bit better overall craftsmanship, with the compartments housing your accessories. You will receive a screw. Now, it is good to note that you will need to unscrew the phone in order to put your SIM card into one of the dual SIM capabilities, but that obviously comes down to the fact that the phone is completely waterproof and sealed. You're also getting some headphones, which I will say the quality of the audio from them isn't that great, but that's probably to be expected from an add-on pair. And lastly, your USB Type-C charging cable with 18 watts of fast charging. So let's be honest, the Blackview to some may not be the most visually appealing piece of kit, but others it may sparkle some kind of charm. Its overall appearance is constructed with mainly metal with some plastic elements. And for me personally, I like the design. I think it looks tough and probably will attract the attention of some macho wannabe men. Not to dismiss the women, but it doesn't have that girly charm. The phone stands in about 69mm by 156 so the phone has some adequate size to it. Partnered up with its full HD 5 inch screen, you're getting a nice comfortable sized phone that feels easy for one hand use. Now going around the device, the back camera is 16 megapixels and is straight from Samsung's manufacturer so you get some great captured images. The contrast and sharpness is excellent and video footage is lag free with fantastic quality too. You'll also get the flashlight which I might add is seriously bright, backing up once again that this device is perfect for its rugged construction and versatility in use. My hint there is that it is great for a job in construction and off an outdoor nature. On the other side you'll find the power button and the fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner is brilliant and extremely responsive. Its position is great and it makes for easy unlocking to get into your headset. On the other side you'll find the conventional volume rockers. The phone has 6GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM. It's preloaded with Android 7.0 which surprisingly runs smooth and operation throughout the day creates no lag time and not to mention my on screen experience doesn't lack any responsiveness. It stormed through my daily task with ease. As I said earlier, partnered up with that 1920 by 180 pixel screen, you're getting some nice pixel density and viewing quality. Watching or viewing visual material is nice and it very much challenges some of the newer flagship models from the likes of Sony and LG. Now the 4180mAh battery is non-removable. However, I got about 18 hours of heavy usage, smashing my iPhone 7 Plus out of the water, where I only got about 7 at a push. Now the usage consisted of hourly usage throughout the day of apps such as YouTube, Facebook and Messengers. Not to mention a few games I began to play on the side. I found it to cope with these daily tasks without a problem, which is a struggle to find from a rugged and intentionally designed phone like this. Now going back to what I said earlier about this being a flagship model for those in an outdoor or heavy duty environment, I say this because the overall phone construction has taken into account people's needs and wants for a rugged phone that doesn't lack in decent specs and speeds, and overall performance. I honestly do think that the Blackview has achieved that, its construction is solid and with its IP68 waterproof design, this thing can tackle anything. Complete submersion is not a worry and I've seen videos on YouTube of people even running over this thing and it completely coming out without a scratch. Now to be honest with you, this design isn't for me and the phone certainly doesn't fit into my lifestyle in terms of its design, but it does ultimately come down to what kind of phone you're on the market for. And if a rugged, tough, almost indestructible phone is what you need, then I can see this being a strong contender. There isn't many rugged phones on the market that have the specs and overall performance results like the BV8000 Pro, so I recommend that you certainly have a look. The price is flexible but comes in at under £300, so for that price I think that you're getting a steal for not what only it can offer, but what it actually achieves. This has been Gadget Crunch, thanks for watching.